We're living through something extraordinary right now. Imagine being there when humans first harnessed electricity, or when the internet was just beginning to reshape our world. That's exactly where we are with artificial intelligence today. Every day, AI is quietly transforming our world in ways both big and small. It's in our phones, helping doctors diagnose diseases and even predicting weather patterns. But here's the thing that keeps me up at night. Who's really benefiting from all this amazing technology? Think about it. Right now, most of the cutting edge AI development is happening in places like Silicon Valley, London, and Tokyo. Meanwhile, there are communities around the world still waiting for reliable internet access. It's a bit like having a revolutionary new medicine, but only making it available in certain neighborhoods. But here's where the story gets interesting. People around the world are starting to realize that we can't let AI follow the same path as previous technological revolutions, where benefits took decades to reach everyone. We're seeing something different this time, a conscious effort to make sure AI lifts everyone up, not just a select few. Let me share some real stories with you. In rural India, there's a program bringing AI-powered medical diagnostics to villages that have never had a resident doctor. The technology is sophisticated, but they've made it work on basic smartphones, the kind most people already have. It's saving lives in places where specialized medical care used to be just a dream. Or take what's happening in Kenya, where farmers are using AI apps that work offline to predict weather patterns and optimize their crops. These aren't fancy apps designed in tech hubs. They're practical tools built with local needs in mind. But making AI work for everyone isn't just about the technology itself. It's about making sure people have the skills to use it. That's why I'm excited about what's happening in places like Uruguay, where they've made AI education part of the standard school curriculum, not just in wealthy private schools, but everywhere. Now you might be wondering, how do we make sure these aren't just isolated success stories? That's where policy comes in and it's actually more interesting than it sounds. Imagine a world where every new AI system has to pass what we might call a fairness test before it's released. That's already happening in some places. Companies are being required to prove their AI won't discriminate against certain groups or leave anyone behind. But here's what really gives me hope. We're seeing countries come together to share AI resources and knowledge. It's like we're building a global library of AI tools that everyone can access, regardless of where they live or their economic status. Of course, there are challenges. Building the necessary infrastructure isn't easy or cheap. Training people takes time. And yes, there's resistance from those who benefit from keeping AI exclusive. But for the first time in technological history, we're trying to get ahead of these issues before they become entrenched problems. We're seeing governments establish AI literacy programs in underserved areas, Communities are creating their own AI solutions for local challenges. Universities are sharing their research freely. You know what's particularly fascinating? The way different cultures are adapting AI to their own needs. In Arctic communities, AI is being used to preserve indigenous languages. In desert regions, it's helping manage scarce water resources. This isn't just about sharing technology. It's about empowering people to use AI in ways that make sense for their lives. When I look at how AI is developing, I'm reminded of a simple truth. Technology is most powerful when it serves everyone, not just a privileged few. We're at a moment where we can either repeat the mistakes of the past or create something new. A future where technological progress truly means progress for all. The policies being put in place today aren't just bureaucratic exercises. They're like the foundation of a house we're all going to live in. They're ensuring that AI development includes voices from every community that testing includes diverse populations, and that benefits reach those who need them most. Think about a child somewhere in a remote village or in an underserved urban neighborhood. The decisions we make today will determine whether that child grows up in a world where AI is a tool for opportunity or another barrier to overcome. The technology is ready. The frameworks are being built. The world is more connected than ever. For the first time, we have the chance to make sure a technological revolution benefits everyone from day one. It's not just about creating amazing technology anymore. It's about creating amazing technology that works for everyone. And that might be the most exciting innovation of all.